All right, all right, all right. What's happening with your baby? It's Raj over here, FX Team Takeover. In this quick video, man, we're going to talk about how to find support and resistance. And what's the best support and resistance indicator? All right. So basically, support and resistance is the indicator is pivots, right? But but you don't need an indicator for support and resistance. Um, it's best for you just to look at it and to learn and to know what you're doing. So what is support and resistance? Let's go back and back test it real quick. And let me show you something real quick. So what support and resistance is, right? Let's grab a horizontal line. This is trading view. We grab the horizontal line, right? We grab the line. So what we look for is when markets, right? When the market goes up, boom, it stops, comes back down, boom. When it cannot break that price, this is called resistance. That means the sellers are stronger at this particular time, right? When the sellers are stronger, they push price down, right? The buyers try to push up, but the sellers, they push the price down. Right? But the buyers are strong enough where they can't push it down too far, right? And this is called support, right? You can also go down to the wick, right? Those are different time frames, right? You can put it there or there, right? All dependent on your style. I like to put it on the wick sometimes, and also like to put it on the close, right? Because the wick is actually where price went, but the end of the candlestick is where it closed at, right? So this is this is support boom it didn't go boom bounce back up boom and then when they trading like this it's typically trading in the range until what you have a breakout when they close over the support excuse me over the resistance and typically um resistance becomes support but then they just kept breaking out boom came up here sellers didn't like it and there was a massive, massive sell to the down here to the downside. You can say this started a, a, a quick downtrend, a little slight downtrend. This lasted for a couple of months, actually, right? And um, well, this is back in COVID time, so you know everything was crazy then, right? So pushed everything down, right? Things started getting a little better. Right? So let's go back up. Support and resistance is also on the trend line. See, I don't really look at things back in COVID times because COVID was just a very unique situation. But now things are starting to get back to normal. Oops. Right? So, we use support and resistance, right? I use it along with the 20 moving average and the 200, right? Now, this is the uptrend. We, we, we located the trend. Right? Quick uptrend for a couple weeks. Right? Support and resistance, right? It still respect that line, right? You see, it's still stopping on the line, right? But it broke, right? It broke that first resistance. Oops. Came over here, and it came support. Broke resistance, bam! Resistance couldn't do it. Came around here a little bit, right? Came up, broke resistance boom became support right came over here this is a new this is a new resistance right now here comes a new support right so it's always a war between the bulls and the bears that's what you gotta look at it's always a war always a constant war let me scroll down right and you can look to kind of see what's going on right what's the next move going to be so look, bang, 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 trade it in the range until it has a broke out. Close, un it broke support, right? Broke support twice, broke, broke both of the supports. First it tested it, right? Bang, right? Bang, see if they can knock down the wall and <laughs> broke the wall, but it wasn't strong enough to break this wall, right? Support and resistance isn't a line, it's more of a range. Nothing is, is, is concrete in Forex or trading. It's always like a zone. Right, so they came around his own boom, bounced back up. Right, so if, if you had patience, man, you can, you can hold. Right, if you can hold the trade, you can ride all the way up, but you never know what's really going to happen. Oh, so what I was going to say is, right, it came over here, right, 
the start of another trend or the trend continuation, right? Came down a little bit. The market always tells the tale, right? A little retracement, right? But you can tell the reversal if it passes the previous low. It didn't pass the previous low, which is here, right? It didn't pass it yet. It wasn't strong enough. The sellers weren't strong enough to push past. If, the, if, if, if they would have pushed past here, it would have been a, a, a vicious reversal, right? But it was just a little slight pullback, little range, breakout, pullback, right? Didn't break this. So you got to be very patient and trader, right? Landed on this support. This support was strong enough to protect the support. Buyers pushed everything back up. Ugh. Right? Started a new trend. Sellers didn't want to go higher, right? Bounced off of that bang. Whenever it hits support, it pushes right back down. All right. right. That's what they do. Bounce off this bounce off this resistance. Bounce off the support. Right. Now we have a new resistance. And let's see if we can break that. It probably won't because look at this structure right here. Right? It's like an M. Head and shoulders character, right? So it pushes it back down. Double tap, bang, bang. And they say, nope, this signifies a bearish pattern. Now, let's see if we can get past this. If we get past this support and resistance range, the markets will continue to go down. Let's see. Closes it. Bang, 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 bang. Right? They, 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 it's, it's always the same. Now, if, they, if the sellers were to stop it right here, right? all this area right here, moves. This is the reversal moves. Bear market signifies the bear market. Now the downtrend is starting, right? The moving average is pointing down, right? It's probably going to be a crossover right here, right? You can do this for any market, it don't matter. Push down, broke this support. I mean, it just smashed. Sellers were not having none of it, right? Smash right through the support. With full force, <laughs> boom, broke it. Right, look at that, look at that, look at that. Continue to move down, down, down. To smash, they just, they just got mad. Nothing can stop the momentum. The buyers try to get it, nothing can stop it until it hit the support range. Just hit the support zone, Doof. bounce right back up. issues right here let's see what happens bounce right back up boom 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 now this is where we are now right now look in this zone again push right back down but let me see now the move we're looking for right it's gonna take a couple of days to fan out if we can pass this if they can pass this resistance right here first they gotta get past it's like levels and like that's like a video game right they get past this resistance right here and then they got to get past this level and if they get past that level it's gone right but now where we at we are right here um, boom strong with it it's not that strong right crazy support i think you know, on the market the moving average is pointing up but it's separated from moving average so we'll see that this will be going down for the day right and we'll close down Let's publish this idea right now. How would I trade this right now? Right, it's sitting on that 200, separated from the 20. It's gonna go down, right? Because look, this is a big move right here, right? Away from the moving average, right? The moving average irons everything out, and the moving average is is like a magnet. The moving average is like a magnet pulling price back to the moving average. This is a longer time frame. It will take a while, a while to finish, right? Um, I will buy it. I will, excuse me. I will sell it right here, right? But we got to look at more factors like the strength currency, excuse me, the currency strength indicator, um, right? And we will look at NZD is way stronger than that, right? So, yeah. So, it will be a sell. 
know, it would take less New Zealand dollar to buy a pound, right? So, right, we will continue to go down, but it, overall, it'll be stronger, right? So let's put arrow there, and we will come back and check. Now, in Forex, you cannot be afraid to be wrong, right? That, you know, that, that's what most people lose at, you know? But as I'm looking at the 20, Right, I'm just looking at here now. I will probably hold this trade if I would trade it on a daily. I will hold it for a couple of days, right? But don't look at it, don't keep checking it. I will set my stops probably, right? You need enough room, not too many pips, probably about, about 50 pips, right? From here. So, what we do is take our wood. I wouldn't trade it tomorrow, by the way. Right? And where would I take my profit? I would take my profit right around this support line. Right? The moving averages, matter of fact, no, I would take my profit right about here. Right? And go from around here. Okay. Look like rides, man. You're risking more than what you, you know, really. But if I lose, I'm only losing 750. If I win, right? If I win, I'm making more money than I lose if I win, right? Um, if you want to set the stops higher, you can, right? Excuse me. And we'll put it right up here, top of this arrow. think that it's, it's going to go down too far, but look, we're fighting the downtrend. It's a little pullback, right? It's not a reversal. It's a pullback, but if you're wrong, we have your stop loss. You don't want to be long for a long time, right? You, 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 you don't want to be really wrong, you know what I mean? So I will put it right above there just in case it reverses on me, and that's a big candle, man, to go back. How many pips is that? It's about about a hundred pips man so you don't even need to go that far i will put it right above this line all right here we go that's more accurate i will put it right above that line all right you'll make some money all right you're not it's gonna bounce off this resistance on me we're not looking for, listen in forex we're not looking to get rich off of one trade, all right. That's that. That's not what we're here to do. We're not looking to get rich off of one trade. And look, we hit this one. Boom, we got it. Where we at? Uh -huh. We we making. Let me look right here. One right here. This is two sixty. I gotta do the math on those pips, but listen. That's a couple hundred pips right there. If you're getting a dollar pips, you're making a couple hundred dollars for the week. Right, this isn't going to be the only trade that you're going to be in for the week. Right, right. you're going to be trading. So, look, I'll publish this idea. Right, short technical analysis, and you can hit the link below and you can check. Make sure you follow me on Trading You. So you can find it and then um, based off the gap of the average and the, and the support and the resistance. Right. 
right, so what else I do is I come over here and let me see if it's working. It wasn't working last time. Excuse me. I will see if it's under the cloud. It's not really under the cloud, but my red line is, is going under, right? I'm gonna see if it's weak. It's just coming out the cloud. Looks like it's about to go back in the cloud. It's over the cloud, which means it's a signal room for a buy. And but I think it'll go back in the cloud. It's the same thing. And four hours, the hours, the hours under. Everything else is under the cloud. And so we're going to make money quickly, right? But we have to get out of this trade. Watch it though. You know, so, oops, so let's, let's, let's see what happens. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the monthly. Let's look at the monthly. Right, I, I, I just love trading this forex thing. I could be on here looking at the charts all day long. Matter of fact, let's come over here. I'm gonna check one more thing. The RSI. Right. So I have three confirmations. Right, three, four confirmations that that this pair is going to go down. Right, it's going to go back in the cloud because it travels in and out the cloud. But I know it's going to go back in the cloud. The moving average is just going to pull it down. Right, it's, it's based off a lot, man. So, so we're going to win this trade. Um, stick with me. Let's follow it. I'll put the link below. Well, look, I'll grab the link below. You look at it. Let's come back next week and let's see how we did. All right. Listen, always be careful on how much money you risk. Don't risk more than what you can lose. Don't put up money that you can't afford to lose. All right. Forex is crazy. Now, we can't control the markets or the market makers. All we can do is step in front of money, step in front of success. All right. Look, my name is Raj. This is FX Team Takeover. I'll definitely see you at the top. Stay focused. All right.